Hi everyone! Welcome to my booktube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's video. I really appreciate it. I'm Angela and this is my channel, Books Are My Heart. A few weeks back I posted my NaNoWriMo wrap up video. Throughout the month of November I filmed some vlog entries and compiled them in one post. Today's video is specifically on how I won NaNoWriMo. If you're interested in seeing my actual experience, please check out the link down below. Expectations versus reality became a very prevalent theme for me over the course of November. Today, however, I wanted to give you the specifics on how I won NaNoWriMo. I did not just win NaNoWriMo, barely crossing the 50,000 word mark. I really won NaNoWriMo. I won NaNoWriMo by a landslide. If you are interested in learning how I reach this monumental word count, please stay tuned. My first point that I need to mention is that coffee or caffeine in general is life. And that Starbucks mobile order app was a huge time saver. My first piece of advice is to stock up on coffee. Now I have drastically scaled back my coffee intake, but for the month of November I always had my coffee in hand. This is probably going to sound quite obvious, but time management is incredibly important when it comes to NaNoWriMo. I would make a list of what needed to get done, not what I would like to get done. For instance, I may have wanted to watch a show one night, but instead I allocated that time towards writing. Even though I am extraordinarily neat and organized, I did let certain things slide until they needed to be done. During the month of November, I really did scale back on the I would likes in my life. This also meant setting my alarm and waking up early. I'm currently earning my PhD, so I don't have the typical 9 to 5 schedule that a lot of other people do, but I do have a class schedule that I need to adhere to. This meant that I would need to wake up early to get my writing done before I headed out for the day. Because as soon as I set foot on campus, I was solely focused on school. I started regularly posting to my blog in September, and I made the pledge to post a new booktube related video every Friday back in August. I pre-wrote all my blog entries and filmed and edited all my booktube videos prior to the month of November. This way I only needed to hit that publish button. I also tried to find other ways to save time. I had Peapod deliver my groceries and I used E24 for when I did not want to actually cook. Now, in regards to my actual writing, I plotted everything out before I sat down. On November 1st, I already knew my characters, their little mini biographies that I created, I knew the entire plot that I was going to write, I had everything mapped out. This made the actual act of writing much easier. If I had not written everything out in advance, November 1st would have been a drastically different day. And considering I wrote, I believe, 6,000 words on my first day, that's saying something. If I had not plotted out my entire novel before NaNoWriMo began, November 1st would have been a very different day for me. Also, I did not edit as I went. I simply wrote. Editing is a task in itself, and I am saving that for a later date. NaNoWriMo is not about having a finished, polished draft ready to be sent to editors. It is simply about having words on the page, and that was my goal. That thought process was really helpful to me because I am a complete perfectionist, and knowing that it did not have to be perfect on this first round really alleviated a lot of the pressure. It's nice to know that it is only a draft and is not meant to be the final version of your novel. I think a lot of writers can lose track of that and attempt to write perfectly every time. That can be so much pressure, and it is perfectly acceptable to make mistakes and revisions after the fact. And while this might sound contradictory, I did not focus on my word count. I simply wrote. If I woke up at 4 a.m., I knew I was writing from 4.15 to 6.30. I did not think about how much I was going to write, I just knew I was going to write. If you also took part in NaNoWriMo, please tell me how you accomplished your writing goals. If you have any other questions on my NaNoWriMo writing experience, please let me know. I post a new book related video every Friday, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to see all my latest posts. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an amazing reading and writing day.